Thank you very much, Paul, and thank you very much uh, for um, uh, joining this meeting. Uh, my name is Eric Pasfer. Thank you for the introduction, Paul. And I have some 10 minutes to introduce you a little bit to the, uh, <coughs> the Sure Network, what it is, how it works, uh, where we come from. Um, welcome, everybody, to start with. My name is Eric Pasfer, and I'll be discussing uh, further on in the program with uh, John Blackshaw. Um, Cross-border cooperation in Europe. Um, my suggestion is we uh, let's go mega. Let's go and uh, explore this mega region. Um, an interesting phenomenon in our field of work, a new urban scale that has emerged in the past decades all around the world and uh, the Shore Network strategic urban region, Eurodelta is a driving goal in process leading Eurodelta towards a green, inclusive and balanced mega region in the upcoming years. And we made a roadmap uh, that will be presented later on in the program to you. This is um, more or less the, the area that we're talking about, more or less, the, the word more or less is important because we don't have an exact definition of this new geography. This is something to be discussed, something to be researched, something to be established with the help of you, I hope. Um, it started some two, two and a half years ago, uh, an expert group of the Metrex organization, which is a network of European metropolitan regions and areas. Actually, it's 25 years young uh, this very year, so it's an important year for the Metrex organization. And um, there are many members all across Europe, cities, metropolitan regions, um, uh, members of, uh, of Metrics. So Metrics knows the phenomenon of an expert group. And one of the expert groups was established in 2018, the Sure Expert Group. Um, it, it consists of, of practitioners from cities, metropoles, metropolitan regions in Germany, Belgium, France, Netherlands, and we just started sitting together to exchange our best practices, to share our curiosity uh, in this, this new geography of mega regions. Uh, this, is, this is an interesting map because um, it shows that we're not alone. It shows that all around the world, this, this new geography of metropolitan regions uh, coming to better, together and combining into mega regions uh, um, is emerging all around the world, in the Americas, in Africa, in Arabia, in uh, Asia, and also in Europe. So it's something that is there, but what is it really? And we started to sit down and simply observing other mega regions. How are they developing? Uh, what are the driving forces behind them? Um, and we made an, 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 a sort of a basic mapping, benchmarking of three areas, Euro Delta, the Shanghai, Nimbo, Nanjing uh, uh, mega region, and the Boston, Washington mega region, just to get some understanding of what this new phenomena is. Uh, and also as a starting point to design a narrative a story behind the Euro Delta and a common perspective. A uh, big reason for that is that we understand that um, uh, the world population is urbanizing. So uh, already today, the majority of people in, on this planet live in urban areas, and this will increase. And if you uh, remember the, the three maps I showed you of the, the Asian, the American, and the European uh, example that we studied of mega regions, we have something to choose. We can choose. Um, the, the kind of direction, the kind of perspective that mega regions in our part of the world uh, will develop. Um, to make it simple, but it's more complex than it is, we could choose between uh, in the Northwest of Europe, in the Euro Delta city, or becoming a mega region. These are two principally different uh, ideas, perspectives, and, and concepts. So we have something to choose. That's interesting. Um, and after two years, we, we now are on a point that we say, we, we actually established a, a cross-border community practice. 
We had two wonderful years of inspiring discussions, exchanging uh, all kinds of examples. More and more cities, region, and metropoles are participating. Uh, we are changing uh, best practices on, on almost every uh, cross-border phenomenon that we, that we uh, see on climate, migration, social cohesion, next economies, and so on. And the first results are already that we initiated uh, an interesting research uh, program with ESPAN that we will be presenting our results in the European Week of the Regions in the autumn of 2021, so that's next autumn. And we're addressing uh, EU initiatives like the Bauhaus and other EU agendas. So it's, it's an emerging and very vital uh, network. And we were very, very happy today that we can start with a next step in this development. Uh, and we're very, very happy that we uh, will work with you as um, scholars, students, young professionals on this, this interesting new phenomenon. Uh, and you're important because we, we really uh, appreciate the, your engagement as the next generation of researchers, policymakers, uh, professionals, opinion leaders, um, and inhabitants of the, the, the Euro Delta. So you have a challenging week of cooperation ahead. Cooperation itself is, is something that is important in mega regions, uh, cross-border uh, urban development. We all speak different languages. I'm, as I say this, I realized I do this speech in English where uh, we're only working with non-English countries. So that's a, a way to deal with working in different languages with different specializations, people from uh, geographic uh, department from uh, landscape department from business departments from um, all sorts of specializations working together different talents perspectives and exploring this this new phenomenon of, of extraordinary proportions an, an area with more or less 50 million inhabitants uh, that's extraordinary and it's an extraordinary challenge and all of that with an extra challenge to make it even more fun by means of digital communication so it will be very difficult for all of us, for you, for us, for the people who prepared this, this wonderful event. Um, and I have just to give you a, a few hints, some advice, some support uh, for this week, because it, it, it may feel very complicated. If it feels too big, make it small. That's my first advice. Uh, things start next door, in front of your house, in the streets that, you're, that you live in. And then take the issues uh, in your own region at the starting point and try to, to project that at the level of scale of the Euro Delta, uh, Euro Delta region. So let's give you an example. If, if the, 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 the river in, in Cologne floods, that's, that's something from the people in Cologne, but it's something for all of us because if the River Rhine floods, that means uh, in a few days afterwards, uh, the river will also flood in Rotterdam, in Brussels, in Aachen, in, uh, in Antwerp. Um, if you're thinking about solar energy, remember that all this energy is connected in, an, in a transnational uh, electricity network. If you're thinking about high-speed stations, remember that they are, these are connected in the, in the Euro Delta to an emerging network of, of rapid transportation. If you're thinking about economic uh, innovation, remember that we all already have a big uh, market in common with big influx and outflux of, of, uh, of trade. If you think about your own university, remember that they're already working together on a big scale uh, in the, the area of the Euro Delta. And if you think about making things small, my first association was Think about bicycling and remember that you're not alone because we share in the Euro Delta an enormous interest in cycling, in innovation, in the innovative uh, use of, of uh, bicycles. And this is the result. We already are a, uh, a Euro Delta with uh, a shared set of values because it's very surprising and astonishing to me that a cross-border network of bicycle lanes is already there. This is the big picture, and it was emerged in small steps. So if it's too big, make it small, and then make it big again. I wish you all a wonderful week. Good luck with it.
Remember to have fun. And thank you very much to all of you who uh, made this possible. Thank you.